Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon and Brown here, physical therapist and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy, CrossFit Coach, CrossFit Majestic. I'm going to hop on here today. If any of you saw my posts yesterday and today from my workouts, I uh, noticed yesterday not one of the greatest days I've ever had. Uh, today was a really good one. So I just want to talk about this whole, um, the, th th the concept, the thought of, you know, accepting your wins, accepting your losses, those good days, and I'm going to call them not so good days, uh, rather than calling them bad days. So we all love to have those wins. We all love to have those days that are just amazing with our workouts, with, um, you know, work wins, life wins, home wins, whatever it may be. We like to have those wins. I get that. I like it too. Very few of us like to fail. Um, most people don't like to fail in life, don't like to have those misses. But that's also how we learn, that's how we grow. And here's the thing to remember when it comes to those days that you don't have those, um, those as good of workouts or something happens at your work, something happens at home, is you need to take a step back. Like let yourself, like my coach told me yesterday, let yourself be frustrated for two minutes and then go and reassess. Or you know, as he said, go look at the film, see what you could have done differently. And that's really what you have to think about when you do have those misses in life, whether it be work, home, or whether it be in your workouts. Especially if you film your workouts, you can really go back and reassess and like truly reassess. But just in general, if you have a day that doesn't go so well, if you know you were in a negotiation at your job and didn't win the negotiation. If, you know, having an argument with a significant other or spouse or maybe your child and, you know, you're just going back and forth is you can take a step back once that frustration wears down. Like, let yourself be frustrated because it's life. You're going to be frustrated about things that happen. Let yourself be frustrated, then reassess the situation. See what you could have done differently. See how you could have reacted differently um, or responded differently. I do use both words, um, inter not interchangeably, but um, kind of the way I think about it is reacting is what your natural instinct is. So those things you've done since you were little. Responding is more of a controlled, it's a hesitation, it's a controlled way to act to a situation or to um, play out a situation. So responding is more of a conscious awareness of what's going on, letting yourself process things before you say or do anything. So, you know, in these situations that can be stressful, you have a miss, you have, you know, maybe a negative reaction because you've reacted, you know, those are the times that you really want to go back, process, think about what you could have done differently, think of how you could have responded differently, and, uh, you know, learn and grow from that. So maybe the next time that that situation happens, you aren't, you're more hesitant, you're holding back, letting yourself think about it, let it process before you actually take action on it. Now, when it comes to a workout, it's hard to react versus respond, like you're in the middle of a workout, but it's a matter of how you react or respond to it afterwards. So when you're frustrated about having that missed lift or maybe multiple missed lifts as I had yesterday at that same weight, like three times, um, you know, going back and just reassessing what the situation was, what was different. For me yesterday, I think it was two different things. One, I felt very rushed. During it, I didn't feel like I had that time to re um, to rest in between those lifts, but also, um, Kind of dealing with a little bit of a of a muscle strain that I don't really even know what happened to cause it. Um, just kind of woke up with it one morning. So, um, you know, whether that was related or not, I didn't feel it while I was working out, but or while I was doing the squats. But it definitely could have been contributing to the situation. So, you just have to think about as you have those misses in life. What else is going on in your life? Is there more stress? Is there something else going on in home life? In um, you know, or could have you just responded or reacted differently to it? So let me know your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear any feedback that you have regarding any of these concepts, thoughts, opinions that I've talked about. And uh, 
as usual, if you have anything you want to address with me directly, uh, feel free to reach out to me through Facebook Messenger. I'd love to have a conversation with you. So hope you're all having an amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.